Thanks for keeping me company on TCM today. I'm Alicia Malone, and you're just in time to watch the always compelling Double Indemnity from 1944, directed and co-written by Billy Wilder. And this movie inspired a recent TCM book called From the Moment They Met, It Was Murder, Double Indemnity and the Rise of Film Noir, written by Alan Silver and James Ursini. I got my hands on a copy, I know a guy, and the book begins by recounting the true crime story that started it all, because this film was based on a novel by James M. Cain, which was inspired by a 1927 murder case involving Ruth Snyder and salesman Henry Judd Gray. These two had an affair and conspired to kill Snyder's husband, and they hoped for a big payout on his double indemnity insurance policy. Here, Fred McMurray stars as insurance salesman Walter Neff, who falls for the wife of a client. She is Phyllis Dietrichson, played by Barbara Stanwyck, and she and her anklet convinces Walter to help her murder her husband and cash in on his insurance. It was producer Joseph Sistrom who brought James M. Cain's book to Billy Wilder, with Paramount then buying the rights for him to direct. Wilder had originally wanted Cain to write the adapted screenplay, but when Cain said no, he was under contract to write a film for Fox, Sistrom suggested a newer crime writer named Raymond Chandler. Chandler said yes, though he wasn't a fan of Kane's dialogue, and this would be Chandler's first screenplay. Wilder and Chandler worked on it together, and Barbara Stanwyck had liked the script, but she was nervous about playing such a dark character. However, those nerves turned to resolve when Wilder asked her this question, Are you a mouse or an actress? Meanwhile, casting Walter Neff was trickier, as Wilder recalled, everybody turned me down, nobody would do it, they didn't want to play this unsympathetic guy. To get Fred McMurray to say yes, Wilder reportedly badgered him every day, badgered him in the commissary, in his dressing room and at home. Also starring Edward G. Robinson from 1944, here is Double Indemnity. In the TCM book, From the Moment They Met It Was Murder, Alan Silver and James Orsini write about a scene that was filmed for Double Indemnity, but edited out before the first preview, involving Walter Neff's execution. This scene, called Sequence E, was destroyed, but you can see a production still in the book, showing Fred McMurray grimly awaiting his fate, with Edward G. Robinson as keys by his side to lend support. Even without Neff's execution, the Hollywood censors objected to many parts of Double Indemnity, but it became a commercial and critical hit upon release. And even now, 80 years later, the film continues to fascinate audiences and film scholars alike. I do recommend Silva and Orsini's book. It is highly researched and detailed. All right, I'll be back later tonight for TCM Imports, but keep watching TCM now for Ben Mankiewicz. He has a double feature starring Barbara Streisand, beginning with the 1983 musical drama she directed and starred in, Yentl. I'll see you soon. Next on TCM, Yentl, then the way we were, and later, a patriotic silent Sunday night. TCM stands at attention tonight.